Hello, my name is Mr Smith and I am the Head of PE at Gosford Hill School and also the Lead Teacher for A-Level PE. Uh, here at Gosford, A-Level PE is a very popular subject and over a number of years now we've achieved very strong results with uh, more than 70% of our students consistently achieving uh, A-star to C grades and uh, at least two thirds of our students do go on to study uh, sport at higher education and often at universities or scholarships abroad. Um, so what does A-level P look like? Well at Gosford we uh, followed the AQA course and this has three units. Two of them are exam units and uh, the first paper is two hours long and covers the topics of applied anatomy and physiology, skill acquisition and sport and society and that is worth 35% of the course. The second exam is also two hours and worth 35% and this covers the topics of biomechanics, sports psychology and sports society and technology. And then the third and final unit is about practical performance, although students do also have the opportunity to do leadership and coaching if they would rather. And then linked to that is a piece of coursework where students are asked to analyse their performance and look for ways to improve their weaknesses. So the course is a really good course. It's varied, it's exciting, and it's also academically rigorous. And it builds very nicely from the GCSE courses that many of you interested in studying this will currently be on. Um, but what it also does is it introduces new and exciting topics that maybe you won't have come across before. Um, things such as energy systems, uh, sports psychology, which includes information processing, uh, looking at team dynamics, uh, looking in more depth at the body systems, so the respiratory system, the neuromuscular system, the muscular system and the respiratory system. And also we look at technology uh, in sports and how sports has developed through time, which is particularly interesting and a, and a topic that students generally do enjoy. Um, so if you choose to study this course here with us at Gosford, we uh, take a teaching and learning approach that tries to strike the right balance between uh, active lessons, lessons that keep you engaged, but also lessons that have enough academic rigour to prepare you for post-18 studies or the world of work. So you can expect lessons to include visits to universities, practical sessions, the use of technology, uh, the use of the latest research in the topics that we're studying. So often we will uh, look at uh, the psychologists and uh, sports scientists and see what they're saying and how we can link that to the topics that we're learning, as well as obviously using exam approved uh, textbooks. So if you're interested in studying this here, then we would look for you to have achieved at least a grade five in GCSE PE and GCSE science to give you the uh, underpinning knowledge needed to be successful in this course um, because it is challenging but it's also enjoyable and that's why it is very well respected by the universities and it is a very popular A-level uh, at our school. So where can it take you if you choose to do this? So as I've already said many of our students do go on to study this further when they finish with us at the end of sixth form and we've had students go on to Oxbridge We've had students uh, progress into sports marketing, video analysts, physiotherapists, coaches, teachers, which is always an exciting one. Uh, we've also had students who have gone on to be personal trainers, join the armed forces, and also join police and uh, frontline workers. So it is a very broad uh, options for you in terms of what you can study when you have A level P under your uh, qualification list. So it would be fantastic if you'd like to come and study it here. We uh, pride ourselves on uh, making our lessons enjoyable, but also academically rigorous. And uh, I look forward to hopefully seeing many of you on the course here with us over the coming years. Thank you.